Hey guys, welcome back to Back Pocket Game Reviews, and today we're gonna review a game I've literally just been waiting on the first time it got shown off and it was delayed several times, but finally I've gotten to get my hands on Cuphead. So Cuphead is a indie style game, um, and it's based off of 1930s, 1920s, 1940s style cartoons. Those older, more kind of, we'll say dark cartoon styles, um, back in the day of like Merry Melodies and stuff along those lines. So Cuphead is easily one of the most beautiful games I've ever played when it comes to the artwork. The artwork is absolutely incredible in this game. Every character was hand drawn, none of these were digitally recreated. Essentially they found the book on how to be an awesome 1930s cartoonist and then rewrote it. That is how awesome they did with this game. Um, almost anyone I have ever heard has literally praised them about the artwork in this game. That is something you will not hear a single complaint on. The controls are very smooth, the way the game handles feels crisp, there's never been a time where I'm playing and I'm like, man, I did not deserve to die there. It feels very fair, nothing feels like I am being cheated, however with that being said, the game is incredibly hard. Um, so while I understand that it is fair, I do understand that there is a huge learning curve to this game. Um, it, it's not a game where you can just go in and expect to win every time, you are going to die a lot, and you are going to be repeating levels a lot. And that's something you're probably going to want to get used to going into this. Now, um, I, I've seen a lot of people that have had issues playing this game because of how um, unforgivably hard it is. Uh, but it, it's a lot of it comes down to repetition. So a lot of the characters are based on patterns. You'll eventually start to learn the patterns. And worst case scenario, it might take you like 20 times to beat one bad guy. But... There are very few platforming levels, most of it is boss battles, but there are some platforming levels based in and out there. For a lot of for a lot of it, it feels kinda similar to like a Mega Man game almost, where it's got that really high level of like difficulty, but still controls and feels very crisp. Um, the story is very interesting with the way it pans out. The voices all feel like they're from those 1930s cartoons, especially when you walk into, like, the shopkeeper's shop. I believe his name is Porkums. And everything is just so well done that nothing feels out of place. It feels like if this were, if this had existed in the 1930s or 40s or any of those time periods, it would have felt correct in that time period. Uh, the soundtrack is awesome. It focuses a lot around big band and jazz, which again would have been more reminiscent to that time period. So they, they did stop, try to stay very accurate to it. So do I think you should get this game? Uh, I would say anyone should pick this game up. It is a $20 game. You can get this for $19.99. It is an Xbox and Windows exclusive game. So those are the only ways you're going to be playing this. Uh, so you can get it on Steam or you can get it on Xbox. From what I hear, uh, most current gen GPUs should have no issues running this game. It's not exactly the most intensive game. There are going to be a lot of power-ups you can get to make this a little easier for you along the way too. So there's different types of firing that you can do. There are different types of charms that you can do. One will, for example, add an extra heart to your life bar, but it will also decrease your damage dealing by a little bit. So you're going to have to kind of find your balance of how you think you can play through. Um, and it might not be even the same for every character. But I think everyone should pick up this game. This is probably going to be one of my absolute favorite games for this year. And I'm ecstatic that it finally saw the light of day. Um, guys, if you are enjoying this game, uh, if you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this. So if you did enjoy the video too, don't forget to drop a thumbs up. And if you're new here, you can click that subscribe button. And stick around, guys. I'll have plenty more content coming for you.